Good morning, everybody. Hi. Oh, it's, there's people here. This is fun. Hi, Kelly. Hi, everybody who's joining. Um, I put a little title on here. What are you aware of? And can you allow your reality to override the thoughts, feelings, and emotions that um, that your body gives you the awareness of because there's so much going on right now and there's so many people who are like freaking out you know first of all the stress of the end of the year the holidays um, the pandemic money there's so many things that are happening hi Sylvia and there's there's this tendency to take all of that stuff that we're aware of. And, and I was saying on my podcast, Coffee Talk, just before this, that it's like we, we have it like tracing paper, we lay it over our lives. So we pick up all these feelings and emotions and thoughts and we like lay it over our lives and we look to see how it could be and where it matches what's going on for us so that we can justify having the stress, the anxiety, the fear, the whatever that we're aware of. But rather than trying to justify, what if we just asked a question like, is this even mine? You know, is this mine? And if it is, do I desire to continue choosing that and actualize all kinds of stress and anxiety and upset in my life and in the world because we we do have a choice we can choose that or we can choose to not indulge and put our energy there and it really is a choice like you can go into the upset and the panic absolutely and it's not wrong it's just a choice that we make and recognizing that it is a choice and that it's not that we have to, or we can't, or we should, or we shouldn't, it's just a choice. So what would you like to choose? What, what would it be like to allow your reality to override the thoughts, feelings, and emotions that your body is giving you the awareness of? What is your reality? What is your reality? And regardless of what you're aware of, what if you could choose your reality? And maybe that could change some of the things that you're aware of in the world. <clears throat> so I choose to do these expanding exercises every week so that I expand my reality and that I keep building that muscle of expanding my reality because otherwise I feel totally at the effect of everything going on. And actually over the weekend, I kept having this weird stuff with my ear and like pounding in my head on one side. And, and I asked, okay, is this mine? No, it wasn't mine. So what am I aware of and what's going on? And is this something I can change? And I just got no. So I just sort of went through it, dealt with it without making it solid. So it was this floaty thing. It would float in and float out. <clears throat> and then I was um, facilitating a friend this morning and she had something going on with her eye. And the funny thing is, is that she was in um, the Being You class that Dane was doing. And then it made me realize, oh, wow, how much of what was going on with my ear and that part of my head was the awareness of all the changes that were going on in that class, even if I wasn't in the class. What if we are that connected and are that aware? It, if it feels light for you, then, then it's true for you. And to me, it was super light and it's like, wow, that's awesome. You can 
perceive all of those changes and you can perceive where people don't want to hear, don't want to see, don't want to know so much and what's possible beyond their, um, their scope of reality. And it can be a struggle and, and it, as it's cracking open, you can perceive that. And what if that wasn't a bad thing? What if that's actually a really cool capacity? So acknowledge how much you are aware of and acknowledge that you have choice to, to actualize that thing as a problem or to leave it as this awareness and this energy and as a question, what can I do with this? Can I change it? And if so, how do I change it? <clears throat> so let's just expand so everything that's going on with you, with your body and your mind today. Let's just set it all down. And get present with our body. Ever notice how when you're in your head, you, you barely feel your body. It's like you're not connected to your body. You're just like here up. So let's push our awareness all the way down through our toes and expand out beyond your body, beyond the room that you're in, beyond the city or town that you're in. going into the earth, through the earth, all the way around, encompassing the entire earth, and then going off the surface into the atmosphere, up into the sky, the stars, the Milky Way, and then beyond this solar system, and beyond that, as far as you'd like. At the same time, notice how your body is with you. And your mind is like, whoop, bye-bye. So from this space, what is your reality? What is your reality with your body? What if you have multiple realities? Like what is your reality with your body? What is your reality with, um, with exercising or moving your body? What is your reality with money? What is your reality with relationships? What is your reality with creation? And it's not necessary to answer that. It's just asking questions that have no specific answer from an expanded space allows different awarenesses to come to you. And then those awarenesses can show up in forms of like flashes of inspiration or ideas Hi, Cindy. Hi, Lily. Thanks for joining, guys. Ladies. So what is your reality with awareness? What are you aware of? What are you capable of that you haven't acknowledged that if you would acknowledge it would allow you to use it to create more rather than be at the effect of it. So everything that is, oh, let's destroy and uncreate. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And for those of you watching that don't know the access consciousness clearing statement, that our cadabra phrase is the access consciousness clearing statement and you can find out more about it at theclearingstatement.com. 
where you can just perceive the energy wash over you. What if you could play in this space for more than just these 15 minutes? What if you can play in this space all day and all week? No, you probably can't play with it all week. I mean, at some point you have to pull yourself back in so you can deal with your life, right? But what if you didn't have to? What if you could play out here all the time? How much easier would things get? What is your reality with ease? Hmm. And what if in expanding the space and the being that we are allows us to expand our realities as well? And what would that create for you, for the people around you, for the planet, for everything that you are aware of that you know is possible to actualize in this reality? I know it's really hard to hear the words, so you might have to re-listen to this. Because when you speak from beyond this reality, it's like every word sort of disappears like a mirage as I'm speaking a sentence. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying, but I can perceive the energy of it and I'm speaking to that. So re-listen. And play in this space. What can it create for you? I've actually been wondering if I should do a every single day for a year expanding, like, you know, five, ten minutes a day. I just finished a series of ten days for $10. And it was really fun and getting together with a group of people, whether you can watch live or revisit it later, um, people from all over the world. It was really fun. I wonder if you would like that. Um, I, I would need a group of people to do it and, um, you know, to commit for a year. I think it'd be fun. What, what would that create? So let me know and I'll create it. Maybe we'll start at January 1st. And because people are all over the world, we'll do certain time zones and then change it so that other people can be live. We'll change it up. If that sounds fun, let me know. All right. Have an amazing week. Happy, happy holidays to all of you. Christmas is coming up this week. Um, even though our bodies might be on lockdown wherever we're living, our, our being can be everywhere. So I'm reaching out and giving you all a big hug and sprinkling sparkles of possibilities and joy. All right, take care, everybody. Bye.